maisha yako your life kuna watu there are people lazima ukutane nao you must meet them na kuna watu leo there are people today sio Mungu amekukutanisha nao it's not god who have connected you with them ni adui amekukutanisha nao it's an enemy who have connected you with them ili kuharibu future yako so that they may destroy your future kama ni marafiki if they are friends wanaenda kukaa mbali na wewe they are going to stay away from you kama ni watu walijileta karibu na wewe if the people who brought themselves close to you bwana atawapeleka mbali na wewe the lord will take them far from you duniani in the world kuna watu there are people ambao who hata Yesu even Jesus alipozaliwa when he was born hakuandikiwa kukutana nao hata kidogo it was not written for him to connect with them even a single kuna watu Yesu there are people Jesus aliandikiwa kukutana nao they were wrote him to meet them na kuna watu hawakuandikiwa kukutana na Yesu and there are people whom they were not written to meet Jesus lamani ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu that's why the map of the birth of Jesus iko wazi is very open njia zake zinaonekana and his ways they are open inasema Yesu he says Jesus alipozaliwa but he was born Bethlehem ya Uyahudi in Bethlehem of Judea na tamka mtu ambaye hakutakiwa kukutana naye zamani za mfalme Herod and he speak the one who he was not supposed to meet kumbuka ni mfalme of the king Herod ni mfalme he was the king na mfalme katika nchi yoyote and the king in any country akitaka kukutana na yote anaweza if he want to meet anyone he can si ndio is it akiamua leo nakutana na mtu mwingine if he decide to meet someone else he will do huwezi kumzuia si ndio he can no stop the king Like the Bible says, but the Bible says Kalizaliwa ni kachanga it, uh, Jesus was born he was born in Bethlehem Herod in the old days of uh, King Herod Watashirii in this interpretation Zamani za mtu ambaye at the old days of the person that atakiwi kukutana naye who was not supposed to na meet him and if he meets him future yake imekwisha his future is finished akikutana naye if he meets him mipango yake imeharibika his plans are destroyed akikutana naye if he meets him hakuna kinachoendelea nothing will move yes so akazaliwa Jesus was born kat, kat at the midst of that pit the bible says when he was born nearby the city na shetani kuhakikisha anataka kumkutanisha na herod and sudden making sure that he wanted to yes, let him to meet herod while jesus was in yes, the womb to while jesus was in the womb anasikia mama yake na baba yake hearing his father and his mother Herod the king had to number people's names all that is to pull Jesus to come close if you read in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 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 
kuanzia mstari wa kwanza na ishara kuu ilionekana mbinguni na ishara kuu ishara nini wote sema kuu say great sio ndogo not small hallelujah say hallelujah ndole mwanamke aliyekana mbinguni yes mwanamke aliyevikwa aliyevikwa jua na mwezi ulikuwa chini ya miguu yake na juu ya kichwa chake taji ya nyota 12 taji ya nyota 12 na alikuwa ana mimba hebu wetu sema sema taji ya nyota 12 a crown of 12 stars wanafunzi walikuwa wangapi how many were disciples hello 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 aha na alikuwa ana mimba naye alikuwa na nini ana mimba wote sema ana mimba she was pregnant alafu akilia analia hali ana utungu ana utungu na kuumwa katika kuzaa katika kuzaa ikaonekana ishara nyingine ishara nyingine ikaonekana hiyo hiyo sio kuu yes. ni ishara nyingine tu yes. that is another sign mbinguni so yes. na tazama ha? joka kubwa jekundu joka kubwa jekundu alikuwa na vichwa saba vichwa saba na pembe kumi pembe kumi najua vichwa vyake vilemba saba unajua hesabu za, za shetani you know zinakosewaka hmm. najua ya hesabu he doesn't even know calculations joka na vichwa vingapi serpent has pembe ziko ngapi how many homes zinagawanyikaje how can you divide them vichwa saba pembe seven heads bora ngisa pembe 10 10 horns better 14 ingekuwa kila kichwa pembe ngapi every head how many na vichwa saba pembe 10 zinawekwa saba zinabaki tatu mm. shetani hajui hesabu doesn't know calculations watu wa Mungu kinachowashinda ni kwa kuto kujua people of god what is lakini ukijua hakushindi mahesabu if you know they will never overcome you in calculations soma na juu ya vichwa vyake vilemba saba. saba na mkia wake na mkia wake wa kokota serusi ya nyota za mbinguni huyo ni nani sema shetani shetani satan amevaa sura ya nini ya nyoka ya joka zile nyota za mbinguni mm. the stars of heaven serusi anapasana serusi za nyota yes ni malaika are the angels shetani aliwadanganya malaika satan deceived angels yes akawadanganya and he wakao upande wake they became too the bible inasema pale chini kulikuwa na vita mbinguni there was a battle in heaven wao oh, hiyo hiyo sura the same chapter sura ya 7 nasema mstari wa 7 unasema eh, kulikuwa kulikuwa na vita kulikuwa na vita mbinguni mikael mikael na malaika zake na malaika zake yani mikael mkuwa malaika na malaika zake the archangel michael alafu wakipigana na yule yule joka yule joka naye yule joka naye akapigana akapigana pamoja na malaika zake pamoja na malaika zake naye alikuwa na malaika tayari he had angels too ambao wote waliangushwa chini who all them were put down ndio hawa mapepo they are demons sema amen amen wanaitwa pepo wachafu ni waasi evil spirits wakaangushwa yes wakapigana na alafu nao hawakushinda hawakushinda shetani hakushinda na hata shinda yes satan kwenye maisha yako hatashinda. In your life you will never win. Hebu sema hatashinda. He will hata never shinda. win. Aha. Wala mahali pao. Wala mahali pao. Hapa kuonekana tena mbinguni. Hapa kuonekana tena mbinguni. Sasa mbinguni hapa kuonekana mahali pao. Na kwenye maisha yako shetani anashindwa ana mahali pake hapata onekana tena. Hata kuwa na makao kwenye nyumba yako, hata kuwa na makao kwenye mwili wako, hata kuwa na makao ofisini kwako, hata kuwa na makao kwenye biashara yako, mahali pake hapata onekana tena. Shetani mahali pake hapata onekana tena. Satan its place will never ever Wachawi hawatakuwa na sehemu katika maisha yako. Which is they will never have room in my life. Kuna watu there are people unaishi you are living afya yako your health unashare na watu wengine. You share with other people. Hmm? Yaani watu wana sehemu kwenye afya yako. People have a room in your house. Wachawi nao wana share na wewe. And which is are sharing with Unapumua you. pumzi wana share pumzi yako. You breathe and they share your your Unapata hela wana share hela zako. Yaani mpaka kwenye hela zako. Even in your money. Wanajua kabisa share yangu iko pale. They know that my share is ile na ile. Kwa kila siku. Wana hesabu faida kutoka kwa. They count profit from you. Leo mahali pao hapata onekana tena. They their bless will never ever be seen again. Hawatakuwa na share kwenye maisha yako. They will never have a 
Lord. Which is that they have taken the return it seven times. Okay. Ishala ku Na kuziangusha katika inchi Na yule joka kasimama mbele ya yule mwanamke Akasimama mbele ya nani? Ya yule mwanamke Ya nani? Ya mwanamke Hili ya fanyani? Halie tari kuzaa Aha Hili ya zaapo Azaapo Amle mtoto wake Apo joka Unamuona ni joka You see as a dragon Lakini joka A servant Hawezi kuja kama nyoka Can not come like a servant Anya kuja na shula ya mtu He comes with the face of a human Na kuna watu In their people Duniani In the world Mekutana na nyoka You met snakes Na mtu And a person Kafikiri ni mtu Thinking that is a person Hakina likuwa nyoka But it was a serpent Upako huu utakutenganisha na majoka This anointing will separate you from drama Marapiki wa shoshai wataondoka Rock friends will live your life Wafanya biashara walio karibu na wa shoshai Those people of the birth face who will not run Who have connected so connection na wana ondoka With their own connection they are departing Dio Yes Wengi most Hasa watu wa mungu Most especially people of God This is Mary And the one who is in the woman Jesus And Satan Are prepared as serpent To stand To stand before Mary So that when she gives birth To defer the life of the child Now this one Is Jesus in the realm of the spirit And Mary in the realm of the spirit Listen to me very well Who you that's why revelation the meaning of revelation is the things which cannot be revealed with this eye the words which cannot be heard with no more ears they are of there say there Leo tunaenda mpaka huko. Today we are going even there. Natangua kila walio walio majoka ndani yako. Kila watu asio sahi kwenye maisha. Whoever that is not right in your life. Maya kata baba baba. Kwa Yesu yote yanawezekana.